And welcome to the Monday Live Angel Messages uh, for the 11th of May, all the way through till next Monday, which must be the 18th of May. And sorry, it's a little bit later this morning because I just had a few um, Facebookers upgraded something, so I had to download a whole new uh, browser. And that's why I'm a little bit late. But anyway, let's get started with the angel messages for the week ahead. So every Monday, I'm pulling out three or four cards to bring through the messages and give you an energy update, give you some inspiration and guidance about things that you might be facing and how to deal with them in the week ahead. And I've also got some other exciting news as well to share with you. But I'm going to start with the angel messages first. I'm using Radley Valentine's deck, the Archangel Power Tarot. Honestly, I've been using this deck, well, a version of this deck, for years now. And they're really my favorite because they're so detailed. And I use them for all my readings and my, my guidance sessions that I do with people. So I can't see if anybody is online with me because of this new version that's going on. Anyway, <laughs> send me some love and let me know that you can hear me and that you can see me. I guess I'll soon find out, won't I? Let's see if this does anything. Nope. Uh, I'll do that. Hey, Kay. <laughs> I knew you'd be waiting there for me. So I'm pulling three cards for this week. Now, if you saw my Friday video, you can go over to YouTube and, and look for that or go over to my website and look under Rachel's videos. There's a menu tab called Rachel's videos. And you'll see that I spoke about a um, the energy update for May and what the angels are telling me is going on this month with the actual energetic atmosphere and also some guidance that they have for us about what is going on in the world and, and how we can shift it, how we can help to shift it ourselves. So I've got a few jumping cards here coming out. Ooh, wow. Okay. Let's see what they've got to say. My hands are cold this morning for the first time in what seems like months. All right. So the first card out is is the Knight of Michael. And this is a card about energy. It's it's you can see there's this heavy dark energy um, that it, the sun is starting to break through this dark bank of cloud behind the character here. And that's really what we've been we've seen like that full moon that we had last week was super intense. And it seemed to bring with it this wave of quite heavy density. And so if you've been struggling at all, if you've had any emotional stuff going on, if you have had um, some, you know, thoughts about things you really want to change in your life, that um, you then you know that this is to do with this heavy energy. So the angels are showing that it is clearing, but we've got to move our energy in order to... Um, in order to to change this sorry jenny i'm trying to change that setting but i honestly can't see how to do it right now it's not really the right moment um <laughs> yeah it's weird okay so i guess you just gotta keep your comments short that's all so this is saying it's time to move quickly to think about things logically so one thing I feel about this is that our energy has got to get moving. So do something different. Go out and do some exercise. Change the things that you are doing that drag you down, that, that pull you under that cloud. You know, I've made a concerted effort now to completely um, shut off all the accounts that I follow that are um, pulling me towards fear or pulling me towards um any kind of thing that that is talking on heavy, heavy subjects, because I think we've got to focus right now on keeping our own personal universes peaceful and clear. And we've got to only add things into our energy that enhance that. And as tempting as it is to get caught in other stuff to to um, not get pulled into that. It's OK to be informed, but not bombarded. It's OK to have information and to be able to process that but when you have too much information or that information isn't about things that you need to deal with right here in this moment um then there's nothing you can do about it right 
So we're always on this spiritual lesson with our angels and with Archangel Michael in particular, who is the angel of this card, to keep our energy clear, to keep our minds focused on peace. And so this is saying to you that you're going to get through any tough times and you've just got to change a little bit about how you think or how you're moving through it. And, and that's a, it's a good it's a good card to get started. You'll see the, the person in the card that's on this white horse has got a sword and um, she's got armor on. She's a, you know, she's got her power. So this is about also remembering to protect your energy because thought energy, we live in a mental energy universe and thought energy is, is, you know, it's what we have to deal with all the time, whether it's our thoughts or someone else's. And so, you know, if you're tuned into someone that's got very angry, harsh thoughts, you're tuned into them, you're watching them on videos or you're listening to them or they're people that are living with you or that you talk to regularly, you're going to have to detox your mind energy a lot. And the mind energy has a lot to do with what's going on in your body and what is going on physically. Now, what I also want to say is that I believe that there's, you know, just like any belief sometimes our beliefs can get a bit in the extreme and when our beliefs go extreme that's when we know they're not true they're not genuine so sometimes people tend to think you can't have any negative thoughts at all if you have a negative thought then you're a bad person you're not spiritual you're you're wrong you're spreading negativity you're a psychic vampire and all of that is wrong i'm sorry but it is i've been doing this work for a really long 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 time and sometimes we have to have our negative thoughts now when i say negative thoughts that's a big umbrella right that can cover a lot of things and so I really feel the angels speaking about this with this because the sword is not just the sword to cut away negativity. It's the sword of truth. So sometimes let's say there's a, an imaginary person who is in a really bad marriage and that marriage is abusive or there is a person who's just lost their job and they're feeling bad about not having enough money or there is a person that's feeling really low because there are things in their life that are, are bringing that lowness. Maybe it's a you know, it's an energy balance. Maybe it's some of the people in their life. We can't blame those people for thinking about those problems and being upset about them. That's not wrong. That is a step on the journey of healing. And there is many things that can happen on that journey of healing. And if that person is made to feel bad because they have a negative thought or a negative feeling, then or they're talking about it, then that isn't a right way. That's not the way it's meant to be. And it's, you know, sometimes we are not the ones to help that person. You know, maybe that person's got to go to a, pro, you know, in your personal life, maybe that person's got to go to a professional healer or a therapist and have, have that be talked about. That's important. It's so important. It's a step of healing having someone listen to you and being able to do some work on that, to learn some techniques and tools to use to guide you out of that dark space in your life, to help you to let go of that ex-relationship or that traumatic experience. That's the work that we have to do. And sometimes our friends aren't the right people to do that because our friends are not counsellors. We shouldn't use our friendships like that. Sometimes it's good to have a trusted friend to express yourself to. Of course, that's friendship. But to use them as your counsellor is not right. You've got to go to a profession, professional for that. Otherwise, we break our relationships. So if there's negative energy around you at the moment, this is why this is an action card. It's like get moving. You've got to do something different. And But put your shields up. Put your energetic shield around you so that you're not absorbing no, more pain and fear because there is so much pain and fear around us at the moment. Okay, so many cards came out. <laughs> So the next card is that I didn't, I put them all in a big mess here. So here is the Four of Ariel. Now Archangel Ariel is a beautiful card and look at how much lighter this card is. This is your guidance for this week. It actually came out with another card, which is about shifting your energy. And I'll talk about that in a second. So this one is saying it's about giving and receiving. And it's also about, so balancing your giving and receiving. If you're always giving, your energy is going to be drained and you're not going to have anything else to give. You're not going to be able to heal and nurture yourself. If you're always receiving, you're going to turn out always like 
out of balance in that sense is that you you start to be a taker you start to only think of yourself and that creates an imbalance in your life in your health in your finances so no matter which you are on the scale you know we can't say that person's always giving they're a good person but that person's always receiving they're a bad person there's a scale and we've got to bring it down into the middle so here it's saying is to come into balance in some area of your life is it about money are you always giving money away and you're not letting yourself receive it are you always giving your energy away and not letting yourself receive it but also this is about being resistant to change here in this card there's a, a person at the front of the card and he's kind of looking a bit stern this is representing a block there's something or someone in your life that is blocking you from making changes now everything in our life that is a block is often you know usually representing a block that is inside of you so what are you not seeing that's stopping you from making change where, where are you sabotaging yourself where you're not you're blaming another person or you're looking at a problem in the wrong way and you're saying i, I can't change because of that and this is saying to you that's your resistance coming up and you've got to let that resistance down and see how your ego blocks you and say, OK, I can change. I just haven't seen the how yet. And that instantly opens your heart and lets energy come in. So this is a little bit like, you know, having your arms folded or crossed and just saying, no, I'm, you know, I'm not letting energy in. I'm not changing. You become defensive in some way. So it's asking you to let that defensive de defense down and the energy can start to shift. And I'm feeling this a lot around money as well, as if when you start to make those changes, you're going to feel more secure and abundant. So it sometimes maybe is that we're looking at the problem, we're not looking at the solution. So the other card that came out with this is a Raphael card, which is a healing as well. So it's saying there is there are new there are changes that can come that will put you in a new emotional state. And sometimes you're the one that has to make those changes. Maybe it's just taking a bit of a break in the day. Maybe it's um, getting some help in changing the way you're thinking about things. It's like you need to relieve the pressure on yourself and you need to shift away from the, you know, sometimes we bang at doors and we rattle the cage and, and it, it creates a pressure. And that pressure it presses down on you and reflects back as a negativity that holds you back. So it's kind of a, there's a relief that comes with this card, a peacefulness. So what can you do to kind of turn the valve and let some energy out, you know, let some steam, let some of the fear energy, maybe it's meditation. And then the outcome card, which is rather lovely, is a new beginning. This is saying there's a new blank slate coming for you. And it's the magician. It's the number one in the tarot deck. It's Archangel Raziel, who's the angel of spirituality, understanding, um, aha moments, inspiration, awakening. And it's saying you can manifest the life that you want. You can manifest it. There's no need to look back at what didn't work before. It's like you can have a new beginning right here and now. And you can change today. You know, you if you just make that decision and you empty your mind of the negativity and you start on a healing, a healing process of I'm going to heal that situation that's been bothering me for so long. And I'm going to get somebody to help me with that. I'm going to sign up for something that's going to help me with that. And I'm going to start to change my thoughts about myself and, and start to shift that. This is your new beginning. It's like a door opening and you feel refreshed and new. Now, there were two additional cards, which makes this a bit long. But the first one is the two of Ariel. And this one is about balance. Now, notice that Ariel has shown up now twice. And she's the angel of abundance. She's also the angel of nature. And it's important to have um, balance in your life. In this card, the there's a person and they're kind of trying to do too many things they're balancing on one hand he's upside down he's on the edge of a very high building he's trying to hold two things in the air and he's doing an okay job but one little thing is just going to push him over the edge and so it's asking you to bring balance into what you do and i'm hearing the word joy joy is what is important when you get, you know, and I think this is the lesson of this full moon. It, it was so intense. It was almost like, 
you feel like you've got to do everything at once. It's like a massive buildup of energy. And so if you have been putting pressure on yourself and you have been overthinking or if you've been putting, um, you know, just doing too much and, and, and thinking about things in a fear-based way, this is an invitation now to kind of calm that down because that as that full moon wanes, you then can take that pressure off of yourself and you can see more clearly. I've just had a message come up. Hang on. And then we have the star, which is my favorite card in the whole deck of any tarot deck. This is my favorite card. One, because she's the Aquarius and I'm the Aquarius and Aquarians are a little bit eccentric in a good way. And, but they're optimists, you know, they think about glass half full. So it's about dreams come true, believing in yourself getting back into the flow of life she's she's um archangel jophiel she's all about your mind energy you know and the end of something really difficult and we all know what we want that to be and the angels actually spoke about that on the friday video is that they talked about um how this situation is starting we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel energetically and this you know this beautiful emerald green and golden energy has been coming in that um it's kind of breaking up the heavy density that we felt in april but i feel that with that we've got to think about the universal energy right the energy that that is is part of the the energetic divine atmosphere and then we've got mass consciousness energy and then we've got our own energy. So we, we were living in our own little universe in our aura, right? That's our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our energy. And then we've got the mass consciousness energy. Now with that, lots of people are really tired. Lots of people are getting a bit over it. Lots of people are getting angry and worked up. And, and that has a lot to do with the stuff that we're seeing on social media. Some of it is very helpful about that much. And the rest of it is not helpful. It's like a big toxic cloud. And it doesn't matter what the content is or who the speaker is and how much you love them, how much you agree with them. If it feels toxic, if it's working you into a frenzy, if it's making you fearful, it's not for you. That's what your internal guidance system is about. It doesn't mean it's wrong, right? Some of it is. Some of it is wrong. It's it's doomsdaying. But at the same time, if there is something that we need to act on, there will come a moment when we have to make that decision. No, I don't want a vaccine or whatever it is for you, right? But then apart from that, we don't have to be hooked into that stuff because we're hooking into a lot of things. So we've got to be just be careful of the mass consciousness, the collective and what we're tapping into atmosphere as well. And that has been very heavy. So this, this pale, beautiful golden green light is trying to break all of that up so that this new wave of healing and uh, awareness and positivity and change can come in behind it it's like a it's like um, a wave that's going to wash away all the mud right it's like a, a river breaking that's been in drought for a long time you know when you see that seeping and it all looks like mud to start off with and then the fresh water comes through that's the energy at the moment that's how how it's working and so we can do our bit by breaking up that mud and that energy of heaviness in our own energetic atmosphere personally that's going to contribute to the to the mass so i see this that they're saying believe everything's going to come okay everything is is breaking up there's going to be an end to this and so tune your thoughts into that if nothing else okay so i've got exciting news to, to share with you that i was invited to be interviewed on a podcast um a couple of weeks ago the podcast is self s-e-l-f with lisa clark um clark with an e and so you can google that and look it up but i've put the link on this video so that you can go and listen to it so we spoke about angels archangels life after death um lisa's actually messaging me at this moment um life after death the meaning of life, um, how to protect your energy. It's a 48, 48 minute podcast. You can listen on any um, any phone or device that you have. I've put a link to it to one of the ways, but if you just look in your podcasts for self, you'll find it. It's, um, it's up there now. And I'm so excited. It was such a beautiful conversation. And so many people on here ask me, tell me more about the angels and the archangels. And um, that's what we talk about on there. So if you want to tap into that, that's something positive you can do this week. Also, 
on Friday the 22nd of May, Australia time, which will be the 21st in the Northern Hemisphere, um, I'm doing a Divine Love Healing. So this is a 90 minute webinar where um, we're going to be breaking up some of those heavy energies that I spoke about. And, you know, one of the things that many light workers and empaths are dealing with at the moment is one is guilt and shame. And, and the other is past traumas and, and, and difficulties that you've been through and how to keep your, your thoughts positive. So we're really going to be working with the angels and this is the divine angelic frequencies of divine love, which is so powerful and so beautiful. We're going to be working on your heart, clearing out um, heartbreak, loss, cords, you know, attachments. Sometimes we can't do this stuff on our own and we shouldn't have to where, you know, if, don't feel bad if you're stuck in a negative space. Please don't feel bad. It just means that you need a little help. And sometimes there is an energy. People think it's just our thoughts, right? If you've had a painful relationship, for example, and there's a cord to that relationship, which has the pain, whatever happened, you know, and, and all the feelings that you have about it, that cord holds you in that vibration and it's like a funnel funneling negative thoughts and pain and everything backwards and forwards of energy so you try to uplift your thoughts sometimes that cord will pull you back and it can block you in all kinds of life areas so when we break the cord then you have autonomy and we clear that that heavy energy from around your mind which is draining you and it's affecting you on a physical level it can actually affect your health your finances your ability to find a new job or new boyfriend or new girlfriend, it affects you. So when we clear that energy out, you then have a fresh slate to, to you know, start again, just like that card that the angels gave us, a new beginning. And you can make decisions and you can choose the thoughts you want to put out there and you can attract a new situation. So this is what we're going to be doing on Friday the 22nd, 10 a.m. Sydney time. Um, so there'll be a replay if you can't catch it. And it's a 90 minute webinar. It's low cost. It's it's um, 47 Australian dollars, which is around 30 in America. And it's about 25 in the UK pounds. So please sign up for that because it's going to be a beautiful gathering. And there's going to be a lot of powerful energy healing in that session. So I'd love you to be there with me for that. It's a live video like this. So you can come on to that and you'll get the recording sent email to you afterwards if you want to. So there's still some spaces left on that. And I've put the link um, under this video as well so that you can sign up when you're ready for that one. You can only get the replay if you sign up before. I haven't got them on sale as replays yet um, in my store. So you have to sign up now if you want it. So if there's anything else I can help you with, please let me know. And um, angel blessings for the week ahead. I'm sending you loads of love. And look after yourself and do some energy clearing you know there's some great meditations for free on my website that you can listen to right away to clear the energy around your thoughts and that's going to help you break through this heavy black cloud that's been around us um, recently have a great week